Hey gang, what's up? It is Burger Love 2018 in Prince Edward Island. What is Burger Love? Every year they have a competition where province-wide all of the different restaurants can enter for their burger their fa and make people vote on what is the best burger in the entire province every year. And I'm going to try and eat as many of them as I can and give you a review. Hey gang, back again with another burger. Uh, this time we're going to the Merchant Man Fresh Seafood and Oyster Bar, which is not beef. Uh, the Merchant Man is very close to where I work, and they have like a little side thing called the Grab and Go, which, as the name implies, you grab, pay, and you go. And uh, because it's so close to my work, if I ever do not prepare a lunch and um, need something to eat for lunch because I'm working so hard uh, I'll go there frequently and I've eaten at the grab and go a lot I go in I grab a sandwich I grab a diet Pepsi because that's what they stock I pay and I go and I eat it and those sandwiches are pretty tasty every day it's a new one although they recycle them it seems like uh, but you know they just prepare them every day for you there um, and you grab it and you go and uh, that's really good, but I've never eaten at the actual Merchant Man restaurant, except for now. I'm eating their Burger Love Burger, which is called the Everything Nice. The perfect compliment to your hunger. Compliment is in brackets, for whatever reason. Six ounce island beef patty, pickled onion aioli, thousand island slaw, smoky candied bacon, smoked cumin gouda, fried dill, dill pickle slices, leaf lettuce on a buttered and grilled everything seasoned sourdough bun. Oh boy, lots of stuff going on there. Here's what it looks like, kinda, for you. Um, yeah, there is a lot going on there. Uh, now, this is about as far as we can get from my house also, so I had to walk it back. So the, th the Thousand Island dressing is kind of seeping out of the burger here, uh, but let's eat it and find out. Oh, big bite. Mmm. Ooh, what did I taste? The Gouda, maybe? The uh, onion aioli? Yeah, it's probably the onion aioli. Ooh, good flavor on that. Um, the texture, the slaw, the slaw is there. Oh man, it's falling apart. It's a messy burger and it's falling apart on me. Mmm. Mmm. Enjoy the way this tastes. Um, I'm not getting any of the bacon, although there's definitely bacon on it. Not even tasting it. Not tasting um the pickles either uh, this really is mainly the beef comes in the beef comes in but uh, the aioli is tasty and uh, the gouda is gouda But uh, you mainly get the texture from the slaw, which I guess the flavor is present, but I don't really notice. Now, buttered bun, maybe that's why it's also, they butter the bun and they grill it. Only one other burger has done that. And it's probably my favorite burger. Um, I just think it really adds to a hamburger if you do that. Um, or really anything you're going to eat in bread. If you butter it, toast it, man, that's some next level. Mmm. 
the bacon was a waste of time and uh, the fried pickles were a waste of time because you didn't get them at all. There's just extra stuff there. I take those out, keep everything else. There's a lot of slaw. I don't know if you can see how much uh, in that half is left. The bottom there. Down at the bottom right here, there is a lot of slaw. A little bit less slaw. Maybe 30% uh, less slaw. And it'd be easier to eat. But uh, the beef is nice. The aioli is amazing. The gouda is amazing. The slaw is nice. And then buttering the bun. Yeah, we, you know, when you get something like this and they call it like an everything, like I don't eat everything bagels, I don't really eat bagels. But what is that? That's like poppy seed and sesame seed, and somehow that's everything. It's two seeds. Get out of here, it's a terrible name. I would have settled for a regular bun. 9 on 10. Tasty burger. I enjoyed it. I recommend it. Eat it. Grab and go. Great sandwiches. Merchant man. Even though you're a fresh seafood and oyster bar, pretty good burger. Thanks for watching.